Hey guys, welcome back to another video. This is Gabe with Indigo Software, genuine Microsoft software for less. In today's video, we're bringing you guys a few alternative methods to transferring your files and data from an old Mac to a new Mac. In a previous video we made, we covered some of the troubleshooting methods for Migration Assistant. However, it seems like in some cases, Migration Assistant is just not a good option or there are problems that really can't easily be troubleshooted. In that case, you may wanna consider some other options and we're gonna provide those in this video. Before we jump in, if you're interested in purchasing Microsoft Office, Windows 11, Windows Server, remote desktop licenses, or a large variety of other Microsoft software at a great price, check out Indigo Software. We'll put links down below. So without further ado, let's get started. All right, so we're gonna cover two alternative methods of file transfers on Mac. And the first one is actually sort of the legacy method on Mac. It's called Time Machine. This is a native application built in from Apple. And so in this method, as well as the second method we're gonna cover, we would require the use of an external hard drive. You can use a mechanical disk drive or an SSD. And the only real requirement is that you have enough storage on the drive to contain all of the files that you wanna transfer. Once you have the drive and you have it plugged in, Go ahead and search for time machine and it's going to pull that up in our settings here we can click to set up time machine and we'll click add a backup disk type in your computer administrator password and at this point we're going to go ahead and plug in our backup disk here i have an external ssd that i'd like to use as my backup disk so i'm going to plug this in and we'll plug it into the USB-C port on the Mac. Once plugged in we'll press allow i'm going to cancel out of this and hit add a backup disk again okay and then we'll click set up disk we can choose to encrypt our backup if we'd like this is a good safety option. However, I'm gonna switch it off for demonstration purposes. You can set a disk usage limit if you'd like. I'm gonna leave mine as none. Now, I'm actually currently using this hard drive, so I am not interested in formatting it. Do note that if you proceed here, it's going to permanently erase all of the information on this drive. So make sure you have a drive ready for that, and you can proceed with this, and then follow the rest of the setup instructions within Time Machine. All right, and the second method that also involves a physical hard drive is pretty much the same thing, but without the use of Time Machine. With our drive plugged in, I'm gonna create a folder inside of my drive that says Mac Files. I'll press Command N to make a new finder window. I'll navigate to the top where it says Go, and I will click Computer. Click inside of the hard disk drive. These are kind of like the root folders on our Mac that contain all of our data. So within here, I could copy over the entire user's folder, or I could go into the user's folder, select the user that I want, and manually go and copy the files I want. We could also copy the library folders. However, we're probably gonna run into issues if we try to do that with these system or applications folders. So if you need to get, for example, After Effects, Media Coder, and Photoshop on your new computer, just go ahead and download those from Adobe with your accounts and do it that way. That's actually the correct way to reinstall the software. All right, guys, that's going to do it for today's video. If you have any questions about either of those methods, drop those in the comment section below and we'll get back to you as soon as we can. Again, if you're interested in purchasing genuine Microsoft software at a great price, check out Indigo Software. We'll put those links down below. We strongly encourage any specific video topic ideas you may have. And lastly, a like and subscribe would be greatly appreciated as it helps to support the channel. Thanks again for watching. We'll see you guys next time.